Hi! In this video, you'll learn when to use a multi pattern microphone. We'll also show you how it creates different polar patterns with the help of a dual diaphragm capsule. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We also invite you to ask any questions regarding recording or microphones in the comments section. What's a multi pattern microphone? Well, as the name indicates, it features multiple polar patterns. Usually these mics feature a dual diaphragm capsule, like this one here. You probably already know that a polar pattern describes the on and off axis frequency response of a microphone. Multi pattern microphones often feature a combination of these polar patterns omni, wide cardioid, also known as broad cardioid, or sub cardioid. Cardioid, of course, supercardioid, hypercardioid, and figure eight. If you're not yet familiar with polar patterns, you might want to check out this video here. Changing the polar pattern alters the frequency response in most cases, so they also give you different sound characteristics. The most obvious thing is the difference in directivity. These things combined make a multi pattern microphone highly adaptable and flexible as a workhorse in the studio. Due to its high flexibility, it's one of the first investments that many studios and home studios make. It works for many different sources, different singers, and it's often used for various stereo recording techniques. Nowadays, the most common way to realize a multi pattern functionality is to use a dual diaphragm capsule. These have a cardioid on the front and the back. If you polarize one of them, you'll get a cardioid, obviously. And if you polarize both sides, the two cardioids add up and you'll get an omni pattern. The first dual diaphragm microphone that worked like this was invented by von Braumul und Weber in the 1930s. There have been many different attempts to create different multi pattern microphones, and there are a variety of designs that realize this functionality. Some historically interesting designs include the Neumann M49. It was the first studio mic with a seamless polar pattern control, and it was developed for a German broadcast station and introduced in 1952. The KM86, also a Neumann, is a small diaphragm condenser multi pattern microphone. But instead of a dual diaphragm capsule, it features two separate capsules that are about a centimeter apart to improve low frequency performance for the figure eight pattern. And then there's also the RCA 77D ribbon microphone. This ribbon microphone uses an acoustic labyrinth to create different polar patterns. And you can set the polar pattern by adjusting a little screw at the back of the mic. And yes, you see correctly, this is English cow hair. But now let's get back to our dual diaphragm capsule and check how the polar patterns are created from two cardioids. Let's start with the omni pattern. Since we have two cardioids from the dual diaphragm capsule, we just add the two to get our omni pattern. For the wide cardioid, we reduce the sensitivity of one of the diaphragms, for example, by adjusting the polarization voltage internally. To get the cardioid pattern, we simply use one of the two diaphragms. This next one is a little bit more exciting. To create a figure eight pattern, we turn the phase of one of the signals by 180 degrees. This removes everything that comes from the sides of the signal. And what you're actually left with is your classic figure eight pattern. Supercardioid takes the figure eight pattern and reduces the sensitivity on one of the two sides. As we just saw, we can create different polar patterns from two cardioids by varying the polarization voltage and hence the sensitivity. Or we can also turn the phase of one of the two signals to create other specific patterns. Now that we know this, we also know that there is an infinite number of polar patterns. This one here is one of our multi pattern microphones, the LCT 640TS. Compared to traditional designs, it adds a whole new layer to multi pattern functionality. It has two outputs, one for each capsule. If you connect an additional cable and hold this button here, you switch on the mic in its dual output mode. Now you can record the front and the back capsule on two separate channels. By having the two cardioid signals on separate channels, you can mix them to create all of the polar patterns in the world whenever you want, even after you've already finished recording. 
Well, of course, you don't have to record everything in dual output mode, but for some sources, it's sweet to have the freedom to add or reduce the room sound in the signal or mix, or to change the frequency response. A great example are drums in a good sounding room. You can find a free download package in the description below, so you can experience the tonal possibilities of the LCT640TS right in your door. Try before you buy! The LCT640TS comes with the polarizer plugin that allows you to create all polar patterns dynamically. Let me demonstrate quickly. Here we have a vocal recording that we did in a bathroom that had a lot of natural reverb. We slowly go from Omni. I'm standing in the bathroom about 20 centimeters away from the microphone. To Cardioid. I'm standing in the bathroom about 20 centimeters away from the microphone. And then to the other side of the microphone. I'm standing in the bathroom about 20 centimeters away from the microphone. Now we are actually listening to the back of the mic, so there is a lot of reverb. I'm standing in the bathroom about 20 centimeters away from the microphone. And we end up back at Omni. I'm standing in the bathroom about 20 centimeters away from the microphone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the like button. Make yourself heard.